Congresswoman Maxine Waters, the Democrat of California. As ever, Congresswoman, thanks for your time tonight. You're so welcome. Delighted to be with you again. The president's new strategy for Afghanistan, are you for it or are you against it? Well, first of all, I'm terribly saddened. Uh, after having listened to the speech, uh, I felt bad for this uh, young, bright, articulate president uh, who wants to do the right thing but made commitments during his campaign that he was going into Afghanistan, he was going to get Osama bin Laden, and now he's backed against the wall uh, with a strategy that I think has no end. It doesn't really resonate for me. I'm saddened because 30,000 uh, new troops are going to go into Afghanistan. I guess they're going to be fighting in Pakistan and Afghanistan, Al-Qaeda and Taliban, and where does it end? And what do we do? We have to kill all of the Taliban and we're going to try and transition that government into a democracy? I don't get it. It doesn't work for me. Was the, uh, the, the setting of a, of a beginning of the end, essentially, in saying that the troop draw, uh, drawdown will begin no later, or will begin by July 2011 and will be fully underway no later than January 2012, was that not sufficient in terms of an end date or are you suspicious that at some point the military will have to talk him out of it or try to talk him out of that end date? Well, uh, for me, uh, it sounded as if we were going to begin training uh, the Afghanistan troops uh, in 2011. I did not hear that we were going to have them all trained and we would be able to uh, get out. I think that he meant that to be uh, the begin of a withdrawal, but of course we don't know when. There's no end date to it. Then I, if he had said or, or if someone from the administration says in the next few days, look, this is, this is the time frame, the, the withdrawal begins uh, ready or not, for want of a better phrase, July 2011, August 2011, somewhere in there, will, will some of your concerns be mollified at that point or is this some, larger than that? Some. I like the idea that we would uh, get involved in a real withdrawal and we would employ diplomacy and that we would engage the 43 other nations that he pointed to to help us do all of this, but I'm not convinced. Have you been able to speak with any of your colleagues about this either since the speech or before it? Do you have a, do you yes. have a, sense, do you have a sense of this and do you have a sense of whether you and, and those who think like you are going to be grudgingly supportive of this president or will you attempt to, to stop what he wants to do? Yes, I did have an opportunity to speak with my colleague Barbara Lee, uh, who is the head of the Black Caucus and mm -hmm. who's very prominent uh, in the Progressive Caucus. And we both agree that we cannot support uh, the president in this continuing effort, uh, and we will not support it. So what happens? We've heard uh, uh, from several sources that this will be budgeted through ordinary means. There will be no uh, special bits of legislation the way President Bush handled Iraq. If these regular uh, uh, requests for funding come through you, you will have to vote against them? Yes, I would have to vote against it. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the president did say uh, that his request would be transparent mm -hmm. and that it would be shown in the budget. People are talking about a war tax. They're talking about all kinds of things. But for me, I cannot support this expansion. I cannot support a budget that will cost us uh, $1 million per year for every soldier that we send there. It's too much. Uh, and uh, we're losing uh, a lot of young lives and we have a domestic agenda that's unmet, a big uh, deficit. Uh, I want to focus more on the domestic agenda. I want uh, to wind out of Afghanistan uh, with some help for rebuilding that infrastructure and being of assistance to the people. But I did not hear that articulated quite that way. Congresswoman Maxine Waters of California, great thanks for your, for your frankness and for your time tonight. Well, you're certainly welcome. Thank you.